Hey everyone, I hope you're feeling inspired and making some great music out there. And today we're talking all about failure. And this is an interesting topic because actually I find that a lot of the things I work with and a lot of the things I see about are often saying in a very safe zone with their vocals. Now this is fine, it means you can kind of trust what comes out of your mouth. However, a lot of the time there's an excitement or an energy or a presence that's missing from a lot of vocals because of that safe zone. Uh, and that often comes from very uh, good reason. A lot of the time we've had things that have gone wrong. Maybe a high note is cracked in front of a bunch of people. Maybe you've had a negative experience on stage. Maybe you've had something go wrong that you didn't expect. And of course we take these things on as like a negative narrative and it means that we often stay within the zone that we can guarantee those things are not going to happen in. However, it's important that singers are brave. Singers are courageous. I believe that fortune favours the brave. I think as we start to branch out, we get this sense of um, being able to have a presence and excitement in our voice. Now that's going to apply to those scary areas of your voice. Maybe it's a high note that you're preparing for that you need to hold uh, and that you're bracing yourself against. Maybe it's a difficult register change. And so we have a fight or flight reaction to a lot of those things. It makes our muscles really tight. It makes us very on guard when it comes to those threatening parts of our voice. And actually what we need to do is not fear the failure, but embrace the failure. It's about looking at those areas of your voice and allowing them to fail that oftentimes makes them work. As you accept the fact that things might go terribly wrong, actually a lot of the time that transition might just be a smooth one or that high note just seems to work as your body comes to that place at ease and is able to move. Disconnect the emotion, go into that deadpan place where you just are completely at ease with your voice and then let that failure happen. And actually, ironically, when that failure does happen, you're gonna get a far better vocal. So give that a try, fail well, and see your technique respond to that.